Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Martin channel. I have a great video for you today. We are going to be talking about NEO, ticker symbol NIO. I do believe that this stock has been really hammered down throughout 2021, but I think it has great futures ahead in the future. I think this stock can definitely double your money in the next 12 months and we will be talking about why. Before we get down into this and get started, give me that big thumbs up, keep me alive on YouTube, smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can get all my videos. Also, please take advantage of those links I have below. I do have the best promotions to get you free stocks. Right now, Moomoo is running the best promotion. If you open an account, put in any amount of money, we'll grant you two free stocks, each valued up to $3,500. Put in $2,000 or more, we'll grant you three additional stocks, each valued up to $3,500. Take advantage of that. My viewers so far have received Apple stock, Tesla stock, and Amazon stock, so don't forget to get yours. Transitioning now, we are going to be talking about that NEO stock. Ticker symbol is NIO. This stock has been hammered down. It has been as high as $66, but it has fallen. It is trading around $30 now. It did just get a analyst rating from Bank of America at $60 in the next 12 months. I definitely think that NEO can hit this in the next 12 months, if not sooner. But right now, NEO is going through a big growth spurt. As you know, NEO just had its NEO day. It did unveil its brand new sedan, the ET5. I did do a review on that. It's a very beautiful vehicle, but it will be available in three different battery options as high as 150 kilowatt hour battery that can go more than 600 miles in one single charge of electricity. So huge, huge things, huge props to NEO. Uh, we'll definitely see how this vehicle does sell. It is going to be selling in the year 2022 in around September. So big things to come. But most importantly, I would like to talk about where NEO is heading now. So NEO right now is uh, starting to branch out. Right now it is in China, but just this past year in September 2021, it did branch out to Norway in the European Union, and it is doing phenomenal. It is doing very good. They are selling the ES8, the SUV. They are gonna be introducing the ET7, uh, which will be its premier sedan that will be um, you know, rivaling the Tesla Model S and also the Lucid as well. So big things to come out. That vehicle also should have that same battery pack, 100 and kil 150 kilowatt battery, over 600 miles on one single charge. We'll definitely have to see as this vehicle will be coming out in China and around the world on March 2022. In addition to this, NEO has also announced that it will be going into other European Union countries such as the Netherlands, Denmark, and Sweden in the year 2022, but it does have plans to go to 25 different international companies. I definitely think that they do have their sets set on the United States. Just most recently, I did want to share this news with you. Um, because in this article, according to Inside EVs, NEO is looking like it may be expanding to the U.S. They are giving new job listings that were found on LinkedIn. So the Chinese automaker is making a bold expansion. They said that they would be going internationally. Uh, and I do believe that they do have their uh, mindset and their eyes set on the U.S. market. They are being very strategic on where they are going right now in the world. China is the number one consumer, the number one purchaser of electric vehicles. Number two is the European Union. So they are being very strategic where they can put their uh, vehicles, their sales. But I definitely think that next on their map is the United States. So according to this article, you do see that um, NEO is um, having a big job listings in the United States. Uh, according to LinkedIn, it is offering 46 jobs in the United States. They're mostly centered around Silicon Valley in San Jose, California. But this is going to be a huge expansion. I definitely think that they will hit the U.S. market coming soon, coming very soon. I know that there is a big tension between the U.S. and Chinese governments, the regulators. This is creating a lot of downward pressure. Remember, some of the big things that are driving down the prices of NEO right now is several things. Number one, we do have the Omicron, the COVID-19 it is causing a lot of fear in the markets. It's bringing a lot of fear inside the stock market, which is bringing down a lot of the EV stocks. Um, go look at all of them. All of them are down uh, from their record highs. In addition to this, you also have China having its huge regulations because just most recently it did have the Evergrande 
scheme. Um, Evergrande, if you know, is a huge business entrepreneur. They are, do make a lot of uh, buildings. There's a building contractor in China, but they have defaulted on $300 billion of debt. This has trickled down to other Chinese uh, companies such as Alibaba, Neo, Didi. Some of these are being delisted from the U.S. stock market, um, such as example with Didi. This has transitioned some of that downward pressure on Neo. Um, so definitely it has pushed the stock quite a bit down. We also had 2021 had huge chip shortages. In the month of October, NEO had its one of its lowest reported deliveries of the vehicles. But in November, it did jump back up and it had huge deliveries. Normally, what they have been doing is over 10,000 if they're having a very, very good month. They've only hit that twice, one in September and again in November. But normally, they are around 8,000 uh, most recently. But you could definitely see that the chip shortages and the supply chain have definitely hurt uh, NEO. Well, now I'd just like to transition and show you how the NEO stock did today. It is down 1.8%. It went as low as $29. It has been um, pretty much stable, running around that uh, between $29 and $30. In the past five days, we are up a little bit at 1.7%. But as you can see, we did test a low on Monday, December 20th at $27.85. I mean, these are incredible steal of a deal prices. In my opinion, if you can get the stock under $30, you're getting an amazing deal in this stock. But let's look in the past one month. We are down 26% in the stock. It was trading just in November at a high $40.46. We are in that downward trend. I do think that we have found a base of less than $30. Right at that $30 is a sweet spot. But if you can get this stock under $30, you're getting an amazing deal if you hold the stock long term. Let me just show you what I mean by long term. In the past six months, this stock had had a rich uh, high of $53 on June 30th. Right now, it is at $29. It'll definitely get to $53 again. Now, it's a matter of when, not if it will get there. Um, but right now, you can see downward pressure, huge downward sell-off, negative 40% in this stock because of all the pressures on China, on the uh, regulators. Also, now you have the chip shortages. You have the Omicron uh, COVID variants, a lot of downward pressure that has brought this uh, stock super cheap. I do think it is oversold, and I definitely think that it has a great potential to increase your money, especially at these rates. Let me just transition and show you what the, the investors on Wall Street are saying, the analysts are saying about NEO, ticker NIO. They are giving it a strong buy. There's a total of eight analysts that review this. Seven did say to give it a buy, one a hold, zero sell. The highest price target of all these analysts were $87. The lowest price target was $45. If you average these together, that is $61.86, which is 106% upside from now. Huge, huge potential in this stock. I definitely think that it can get more than $60 in the next 12 months. But look at this stock right now. This stock is at $29.96. Again, if you can get the stock under $30, you have a huge chance to double your money in just 12 months. But please always do your own due diligence. Always do your own research because definitely there is some volatility here. It is a Chinese company. There is a lot of downward pressure, especially with that Evergrande, that, you know, the foreclosure. They didn't uh, pretty much pay $300 billion of its debt. This is transitioning to all the EV stocks. Most importantly, the Chinese stocks. But please always do your own due diligence before purchasing this or any other stock as there is some risk to this stock as well. They are that risk that it is a Chinese company. There's always that talk of delisting. I do not think that these will happen, but always keep that in the back of your mind. But I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something new. But please give me that big thumbs up. Keep me alive on YouTube. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit all so you can get all my videos. Don't forget to share this video with your family, friends, coworkers, that next door neighbor. But most importantly, don't forget to get your free stocks. Right now, using my links down below, Damumu has the best permission motion right now. If you open an account, you will get a free stock of share uh, valued up to $3,500. If you put in any amount of money or $100 or more, we'll grant you an additional free stock, again, valued up to $3,500. Put in $2,000 or more into this, you will get three additional free stocks. 
each valued up to 3,500 for a total of five free stocks. My viewers so far has received Tesla stock, Apple stock, and Amazon stock. So please don't forget to get your stocks. And also thank you again so much for all your support for watching. And I can't wait to talk to you on the next one. And I would like you to please enjoy life, enjoy one another, enjoy family and friends, and we'll talk to you on the next one. Thank you so much. Have a great day.